set, and action! Right now, me and uh, my crew, the other prisoners, and Rick and a few of his men are going to clear out a cell block. Just remember, to go for the brain. We're getting prepared for war with the zombies. We're getting all sweaty right now. Yeah, we're, we're about to have like a zombie, a, a, a melee. You guys slowly come, and the battle is on. You guys will each pick someone to kill. This is my first time taking out zombies. It's a lot of fun. Some of it's kind of technical. But because the set looks so real and just the effects and everything that's got going on and just the makeup that these zombies have is just unbelievable. So it's really, as an actor, it's not even that difficult to get into it, into the world. This season we have a lot of inmates. Even though they are all in uniform, I try to make them not look uniform. So we have different aging on every single piece. I just did not want to go with the traditional orange. So much creepier if you don't see the zombie coming from the darkness. Man, it's too damn dark in here. There's not a lot of lighting today for a cinematographer. It's a lot about unlighting. It's scripted as absolutely black, and we'll make kind of a black that's not really black. Action! It's essentially lit by the flashlights carried by the characters. Ready and action. Tiny, he comes with a hammer and he starts hitting me, really hitting me with the hammer on my head, my shoulder, my back. That, that actually hurt a lot. He was hitting me. I wanted him to hit me. I was like, hit me, bro. I wanted to sell it. You know what I mean? I want to look real. And then Rick comes from behind and just stabs me in my neck. Yeah, so click, and click it in his head. And then pull it out. And then do the click in the head. Yeah, so you, don't want, you don't want to do it when you pull it out because then the blade will. We have a, a cool machete through the back of the head coming out of the face, uh, Rick does here, and you know, if you step through it slowly, you kind of see a cool little like eyeball popping out and a bunch of chunkage and gore. So here we had a CG machete, Rick had the handle, and if you look at the footage, you see him stab with the handle. Typically, the actors are using just prop handles with no blades. It's up to me to sit there and match the practical handle with the CG element, which is the blade. We then put the CG machete that we gore up and put into the, the through the head, as well as add all the additional gore. The actual machete part is a photograph, whereas the blood is painted. I actually painted that to get a realistic blood texture. This is where I get scratched. I get scratched by a, a walker. It's unfortunate that Rick can't cut off his back like he cut off, you know, Herschel's leg to save Herschel's life. I'm telling you. I don't feel anything, it's just a scratch. I'm sorry, man. I can keep fighting. I had to take out a good friend of mine, uh, Big Tiny. So at the moment, that's what we're doing. So like, I go down. Oh, yeah. Boom. Right. Boom. And then and I can take a real fall. You had to take a couple of falls, and that's fine. That's, that's right up my alley. Oh. I was a bouncer for like 13 years, fighter, boxer, kickboxer. I studied judo for a majority of my life, and so falling is, is the first thing you learn. I'm used to it. The mat was awesome. Like, the first time I fell, I was like, oh, it's just it's comfortable. This is my crowbar, and this is how I kill zombies and Big Tiny. Oh. It's pretty hard in the middle. It's, you know, it's a prop, but, you know, it kind of bends on the side, and so I can whack some people with it. As an actor, you just really have to kind of go for it. You know, you kind of have to be in a sort of heightened state. You don't see the crush on camera. What you do see is we have the aftermath of Big Tiny. Greg and his team basically made a crushed tiny head. They're trying to read his mind in braille. It's in the moment where Tomas kills Big Tiny that you realize, wow, this is not only a dangerous guy, but he's so brutal. And to communicate that, Billy really wanted to make sure that Tomas was wearing the blood of his victim. Sometimes the humans are even more terrifying, and that image is one of them. We have a huge battle with a bunch of zombies and there's a lot of weapons flying around. It's a major choreographed event. It's like, all right, it's on. You're gonna grab him, 
throw him. We have to take our time to really technically beat by beat, you know, with the stunt coordinator, timing out everything and, you know, just making sure, you know, nobody gets hurt. This is a cool Daryl kill that we did and it was Norman on the day asking if he could do this. And so I had Norman just kind of hold his hand like this. As if you look, see from the footage, there, there is no knife in his hand ever. So what we did was we put a digital knife in the whole time so that as he comes up, he'll stab the head of the zombie, let go, and the knife stays stuck in the head. It's one of those things that I don't think anybody will ever know or appreciate, but Norman and I will. That's what I'm talking about, my man. Right here. Now, are you gonna grab your machete, which you it's already have? It's a joy to do this job. Yeah, boom. He's down. That's mighty ugly. The coolest thing about this job is that you get to do these action sequences. Shit happens. It feels like it's the Magnificent Seven for the millennium. No! The Walking Dead. All new episodes, Sunday nights at 9, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amctv.com.